why did the megafauna go extinct after one after 10000 bc uh, was the emergence of homo sapiens one of the reasons along with scarcity of food okay why did the great megafauna go extinct somewhere around 10000 bc did it have something to do with the emergence of humans homo sapiens or was there a climate reason was there scarcity of food what was it okay first of all we have to ask ourselves what is megafauna what is that what is megafauna megafauna means gigantic animals huge now if you think about it we have megafauna today what is an elephant an elephant is a gigantic piece of equipment isn't it <laughs> isn't it it's a huge unit it's a megafauna elephant giraffe giraffe is megafauna gigantic animal right what else do we have other megafauna today we have ostriches which are kind of gigantic birds almost like dinosaurs there is that uh we have huge whales but when we talk about megafauna we talk about land dwelling animals so we have some megafauna like the elephant like the giraffe i don't know if you could call the hippopotamus or something megafauna but you know elephant is there giraffe is there um but when we talk about the extinct megafauna we are talking about animals like the megatherium and uh, stegodon or something it was called the uh, let's let's google it quickly okay examples of megafauna first of all let me tell you what is the megalodon me no megatherium Mega, not the megalodon <laughs> megatherium this was a gigantic sloth okay that uh, lived in south america before, through the end of the late pleistocene the pleistocene the late, late pleistocene it ends around 11000 or 10000 years 10000 bc around that time so megatherium was this gigantic sloth if you compare it to the size of a human you can see it is uh, huge gigantic and uh, they have found examples of bones of megatherium that show clear sign of of cutting by humans so humans used to hunt these beasts they even found megalodons uh, trapped in caves and all so it looks like humans may have hunted these beasts to extinction what other megafauna did we have we had say we had saber tooth cats we had this gigantic uh we had obviously mastodons and and mammoths <clears throat> huge bisons we had uh you had cave bears you had dire wolves you had uh, other other species of gigantic uh, elephants paraceratherium whatever it is woolly rhinoceros so many of these animals lived in south america but many of them lived in eurasia as well like the mammoths and so on and many of these go extinct around around 10000 bc what was it so around that time you have the end of the last ice age and the world starts warming climate change okay so climate change happens and climate change unleashes the deadliest pred- predator of all homo sapiens homo sapiens is the ultimate pred- predator weak apes but frightfully intelligent and they use tools and uh, who's their ally their ally is the wolf or the dog so homo sapiens and, and the dog they form an alliance and they hunt everybody all the animals uh so no matter how big the animal is once you put your mind to it you homo sapiens you can hunt it so mammoths go extinct around 10000 bc um, megatherium goes extinct around 10000 bc and these gigantic mammals many of these and an- mammals were grass eating mammals and maybe some climate change phenomenon must have made grass scarce and if you are so large if you are the st- the size of a one story or two story building you need to consume a lot of food if you are a warm blooded animal a mammal and if there's a scarcity of food you you start dying off so i think it was a combination of of uh, human hunting and possible food scarcity maybe climate change that killed off many of these gigantic animals when you are a huge animal it's very difficult for you to survive to sustain uh, to sustain yourself to to find enough food to eat so that's why many of the megafauna disappeared i'll tell you what there used to be hippopotami in india about i don't know several thousand years ago we we find hippopotamus bones in india uh how long ago was that let's let's find out yeah good question 
when did the hippopotamus go extinct? When did Indian hippo go extinct? When did hippos go extinct in India? About some say 9,000 years ago, some say 16,000 years ago. So that also is kind of the late Pleistocene period, not far away from 10,000 BC, right? What about ostriches? I think that would be 30,000 years ago. Did you know that we had ostriches in India? You find ostrich shells in India. Ostriches go extinct in India. So that's 25 to 40,000 years ago. Okay, so that's not the late, yeah, kind of late Pleistocene, but not the exact tail end of the Pleistocene era. So ostriches went extinct from India about 25 or so thousand years ago. Uh, hippos went extinct about 10,000 years ago, maybe 15,000 years ago. So hippos are definitely kind of megafauna. And among the birds, ostriches are megafauna. So we had that in India as well. And uh, in the Himalayas, you used to have these gigantic bears. You also had uh, huge apes. Maybe we still do. I don't know. We'll see about that. <laughs> the Yeti. <laughs> so yeah, it was a combination of factors. And I'm sure the human factor also played a significant role in the extinction of these giant animals. So many of the megafauna that the world knows of are found in the Americas. Because that's where most of the research happens, right? Um, and yeah, once the once the ice melted, so the question then arises that when did humans arrive in the Americas? The classical answer is about 11,000 years ago with the melting of the... Uh, before 11,000 years ago, as long as the, the Aleutian, the Bering Strait Bridge was still there, the ice bridge. Uh, but most likely that's not true. Most likely humans arrived long before that. That's a whole different controversy. We'll not go into that. So that's the deal with the megafauna.